So in this example, we're going to look at half-lives. Now a half-life is simply the period of time that it takes for some substance or the amount of that substance to be cut in half. So let's look at the following example. Now an isotope of barium-140 has a half-life of 13 days. Now if 100 grams of barium-140 disintegrates over a period of 52 days, find how much is left over after this period. So our first step is to basically realize what our half-life is. And according to this example, our half-life is 13 days. That means after 13 days, we will have exactly half of our initial amount. And since our initial amount is 100 grams, that means after 13 days, we will be left with exactly 50% of this amount, which is simply 0.5 times 100, and that's 50 grams. So to find what happens or how much we have left over after 52 days, I have to find how many half-lives is 52 days. So note that one half-life is 13 days. So to find the amount of half-lives that 52 days represents, I simply take 52 and divide that by 13. Now 52 divided by 13 is simply 4. And that means this period of time corresponds to, to 4 half-lives. So let's see what happens. So we begin with 100 grams and after one half-life or 13 days we have 50 grams left over. So let's look at our diagram here. Initially at zero days we have 100% of our amount. We have 100 grams. What happens after one half-life or 13 days pass by? Well after 13 days we only have 50% of what was initially given. So we only have 50 grams of what was given because 0.5 times 100 is in fact 50 grams. So what happens after two half-lives? So after 13 more days or 13 plus 13, 26 days. Well after 26 days we have half of this amount. So look, initially we're looking at this amount and then this becomes 50 grams. And now we look at this guy as if this guy was our initial amount. And so now we're taking 50% not of this guy, but of this guy. So 50% of this guy, when one more half-life occurs, when 13 more days pass by, we have 50% of 50 grams, so that means we will have 25 grams left over after two half-lives, or 26 days. Now, that means we have about 20 or exactly 25% of what we initially had because 0.5 times 0.5 is 0.25 and 0.25 times 100 grams gives us this uh, graph. So now let's look what happens after one more half-life or 39 days. So after one more half-life we have exactly 50% of 25 grams and that gives us 12.5 grams. So that's exactly what we see. This is 12.5 grams where this is 100 grams. So this is about 12.5% of this uh, total amount of 100 grams. And finally, what is left over after one more half-life? Because remember, we're looking at a total period of 52 days. So after the fourth half-life, we have half of this, half of 12.5 grams. So we have 6.25 grams left over after four half-lives, or 52 days, which is represented by this amount. So after 52 days or uh, four half-lives, we have 6.25% of the initial uh, 100 grams left over. And that's equivalent to, well, 6.25 times 100, or actually 0 0.0625 multiplied by 100, it gives us 6.25 grams. So I basically take my percent, divide that by 100, and then multiply it by 100 grams, and I will find my final result.